I still haven't heard from Buckingham Palace. I still haven't heard from Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I realise I'm only widow of a greengrocer. Are you still on about that tray cloth? Six skeins of silk went into that tray cloth. And what have I got to show for it? Not so much as a crested thank you notelet. Well, I read somewhere that she had over a million gifts. Well, it would take her months to acknowledge that lot. She's had months. Her jubilee wasn't yesterday, you know. When Mr. Petty passed away, my letters came in sacks. For three weeks, I thought they were Jersey potatoes. <laughs> but every one of them was acknowledged. I had a rubber stamp made. Thank you for your sympathy. Business as usual, Florence Petty. <laughs> P.S. I'm expanding into wet fish. <laughs> the Queen can't have a rubber stamp made. Why not? They're not expensive. <laughs> well, what's he going to say? Thank you for your present. Just what I wanted, the Queen. P.S. Try our Norfolk turkeys. <laughs> I blame him. Who? That Philip. He could sit down in the evening and then give her a hand. Uh, I tell you one thing, she's had her last Christmas card from me. Uh, Flora, that's not kind. She'll have nothing to put on her mantelpiece. She's got to learn. When I think of the work that went into that poem... What poem? The poem I embroidered on that tray cloth. I didn't know you put a poem on. Oh, yes. Jubilee by Florence Petty. Oh, let's hear it. I'm not sure that I can remember it. Oh, let's forget it then. <laughs> 25 years since she met her fate. Elder daughter of Edward VIII. Elder sister of... Edward VIII? He was her uncle. That's right. Her father was George VI. I know that. Well, then why didn't you put it? Well, I will if you can find me a rhyme for six. <laughs> well, I don't wonder you haven't had an acknowledgement. It's a miracle to me you aren't languishing in the tower. Explain yourself. The Queen of England can't sit down to tea with a tray cloth that says she's the daughter of Edward VIII. What would her visitors think? Nothing. She's a woman of great resource. She'd cover Edward VIII with a plate of little cakes. <laughs> Suppose somebody wants a little cake. Well, she'd create a diversion. How? I don't know. Drop a crown, kick a corgi. <laughs> understand you, Flora. Five minutes ago, the Queen was off your Christmas list. Now you're defending her. Of course, she'd do the same for me. <laughs> ah, there you are, sissy. <laughs> Lovely. Have you got my health sorts? Oh, dear. Oh, now what have you done? I couldn't get any health sorts, Flora. Why not? The lady in the shop said there'd been a run on them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? The moment I get a craving. So... You've had a wasted journey. Oh, no, dear. I bought you this. <laughs> oh, that's useful. If anything happens to you, I can lower it to half miles. <laughs> How much was it? 75p, dear. Even flags are going up. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> Stick it on a sandcastle? I thought you'd like to wave it, Flora. What's that? The Queen, dear. She's coming here on Friday. Part of her whistle-stop tour. She's going to the town hall and the war memorial. And the Boy Scouts hot. Can I see that paper? Thank you. Oh, Queen's visit imminent. Our drains ready, queries local councillor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she never wrote about your tray cloth for her. She's going to thank you in person. She won't get the chance. I won't be in town on Friday. I haven't forgotten the coronation. It was... The beginning of the end for Mr. Petty. Twelve hours we stood in the pouring rain. And then what happened? Just as the royal coach went by, somebody pinched his periscope. <laughs> you can laugh. Oh, yes, go on. Laugh. But he had to sit on my shoulders. Where I might say he got very, very wet. And we swore to each other that night as we inhaled our friar's balsam that we would never line a pavement again. Anybody want to buy a flag? I'll give you 60p for it. I've just paid 75. There is such a thing as depreciation, Flora. You will pardon me, Mildred, but as far as I'm concerned, the Union Jack will never depreciate. 65. 
Done. <laughs> You'll be sorry, mind, on Friday when we all set off in the minibus. What minibus? Well, Miss Milton's bound to organise something. The Queen doesn't come to this town every day. You know, Dolly, I believe you're right. I know I'm right. The whole of Paradise Lodge will be there. Oh, no, it won't. Where are you going, Flora? To tell Miss Milton not to book a paving stone for me. <laughs> Dine cart secretary, please. Miss Milton, Paradise Lodge. And I do not have all day. Oh, Miss Gibson, good morning. Thank you so much for your letter. Yes, of course, one of my ladies would be thrilled to present a bouquet to the Queen. I'm thrilled myself, such an honour. I can't think why Paradise Lodge was selected. Can I have a little word with the town clerk? Thank you. Hello, Uncle Sidney. <laughs> what news of Auntie Moore? Oh, sorry, Uncle, I'll have to ring you back. One of the ladies who isn't presenting the flowers is beating at my door. Bye. <laughs> Come in, Mrs. Petty. Ah, you knew it was me. <laughs> I know your knock, Mrs. Petty, when you do knock. I won't sit down. No, don't. Just tell me one thing. How did you know about that phone call? Phone call? Have you been listening on my extension? I told you before, you won't catch me listening on that extension again until the GPO have cured that crackle. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you here? I want a few words with you about the royal visit. You have been listening on my extension. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come, 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 Mrs. Petty. You must admit the coincidence is rather strong. I'm on the phone to Uncle Sidney, I mean the town clerk, <laughs> saying, of course, one of my ladies can present a bouquet to the Queen, and bingo, in you march. One of your ladies could present a bouquet to the Queen? Oh, I think I will sit down after all. We have a lot to discuss. <laughs> No, dear, give it another go. Oh, dear. <laughs> and this time, try not to look as if you're getting on and off your Honda. <laughs> no, Dred. Put it in a minute, Sissy. But I... I've still got the flowers, dear. Oh, <laughs> honestly. Now, and a one, and a two, and no, a three. No, Mildred, and... you're too... Uh, no, what's what? the word I want? Presumptuous. Oh. <laughs> what makes you think it will be you hands that bouquet to the Queen? I don't think so, dear. It could very well be Dolly. That's why both of us are rehearsing. I see. And what are you doing? I am practising being the Queen, dear. Against the day, I suppose. <laughs> I like your bouquet. What is it? Dolly's copy of Playgirl. No, Flora. Your copy of True Romance. You can't give the Queen that, Mildred. That's just there last week. She'd have read it. I don't think the Queen reads True Romance, Flora. Well, of course she does, Mildred. How else does she keep her finger on the pulse of the nation? <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Is anyone else going to curtsy, Flora? Well, I'm not. Then, please, can I curtsy to you? What for? Oh, I think I should practice, dear. Practice? You don't think Miss Milton's going to let you loose with that bouquet, do you? <laughs> she should. Don't you toss your head at me. Why should she? Because I can still be married in white. <laughs> <laughs> Who to, Prince Charles? I mean, I'm untouched. And likely to remain so. You know what you are, don't you? Yes, dear. A bachelor girl. Oh, do sit down. I bet Miss Milton does choose me. Well, I wish she'd choose someone. Yes, when's she going to make up her mind? In her own good time. And there is nothing any of us can do to influence her decision. Of course there is. We wouldn't dream of trying, would we, darling? Of course we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> would you like my chair? Thank you, but no. I just popped in to thank, say thank you for all my lovely presents. I don't know what I've done to <laughs> Mrs. Love, the flowers. I gave them an aspirin and they stood up like soldiers. <laughs> and Mrs. Fanshawe, the Taj Mahal in matchsticks. Hair. And Mrs. O'Rourke, what can I say to the Lord's Prayer in Quicknit? Amen. <laughs> well, I must buy so much to see to. La, da, da, dee, 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 dee. I am not angry. Liar. I am disappointed. 
Fasten your seatbelt. I will not deny that I would like to have presented that bouquet to the Queen, but did I stoop to bribery? No. A bunch of flowers. The Taj Mahal in matchsticks. And as for the Lord's Prayer in quickness. I hope the time for two fly. Mrs. Kitty, I just found the chocks on my blotter. You're a very naughty girl. <laughs> That's where I put those chocolates down. Oh, good try. I suppose you realise, by your pathetic attempts at bribery, you have made it impossible for Miss Milton to reach an impartial decision. Then, Flora, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know why you're asking me. We always do what you want, dear. Do we? I wanted us all to go on that package tour to Morocco. Six to a tent and two to a camel. <laughs> I should Coco. I think we should vote on it. That's a jolly good idea. Well done, Dolly. Now, how do we start? Well, we'll need a piece of paper each for a start, won't we? <laughs> we can count me out. Gladly. Where are you going? For a nice lie down. I'm not a political animal. <laughs> oh, well. It's a free country. What else do we want? Nominations. I will ask for Nominations them. for what, dear? Oh, for a suitable candidate to present a bouquet of flowers to Her Majesty the Queen on Friday at the Scouts Hut. I'm suitable. Oh, I'm wasting my time. Who nominates Miss Lupin? I will nominate Miss Lupin. Thank you. Do you know her? We have little chats on the landing, dear. And I always thought it was mice. <laughs> <laughs> Any other nominations? I nominate Mrs. Love. Oh, thank you, Mildred, dear. <laughs> oh, and I nominate Mrs. Fanshaw. Thank you, darling. Uh, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Nobody's nominated me. Sissy. Nominate Flora. <laughs> sissy, sissy. I nominate Flora. Thank you. Take over, will you, Dolly? Why? I'm going to prepare my election speech. Oh, and did I tell you the polling day is at three o'clock this afternoon? <laughs> As returning officer for the Paradise Lodge, President's Lounge Division, I declare the votes cast was as follows. Love, Dorothea, one. Thank you, Mildred. <laughs> and sure, Mildred, one. Thank you, Dolly. Oh, sorry I'm late, Rog, but I was doing the teas. What do you want? Oh, I want a vote. Sorry, love, the poll closed at five past three. Oh. When I cut my finger slicing the bread. Oh, let me have a look, dear. <laughs> well, I might be able to get the polls reopened again. Who are we going to vote for? Mrs. Love, actually. Stick a plaster on it. Can we get on? <laughs> <laughs> Who did I do last then? Danshaw, Mildred. Ah. Right. Smallwick, Gladys, two. Who's Smallwick, Gladys? Over here, Mrs. Love. Gooey. <laughs> oh, gooey. <laughs> My God, all these years I've been calling her Littlewick. <laughs> I've been marking her letters not known at this address. <laughs> Things don't look too good for you, Flora, do they? I don't know what you mean. Well, Smallwick Gladys, too. <coughs> You'll need a much bigger swing than you thought. I am quietly confident. Petty Florence, two. He means three. <laughs> One, two. It's a tie. Oh, we don't have to go through all that again, do we? Hang about. I haven't finished yet. I told you he meant three. Lupin, <laughs> Cecilia, three. I know what to do. I know what to do. I wish to thank my fellow candidates. And you, Mr. Officer, for this great election, which has been carried on. See, sit down. <laughs> thank the police force yet. Whose idea was this election? Dolly's. It didn't work, dear, did it? What do you mean, it didn't work? She means she lost and Sissy won. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a landslide. <laughs> By one vote. May I have your attention, please, ladies? I have an announcement to make. I am sure you are all anxious to know whom I have selected to carry our banner on Friday. Ah, we do know. We've just had an election. 
which I'm declaring null and void. Oh, I think that is so wise of you, Miss Milton. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Petty. I'm sure you'll approve of my choice. I'm quite sure I will. Dear Miss Lupin, I know you won't let us down. I won again. I won again. <laughs> My prince will come. La 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 la. Oh, come in. Ah. Oh, Flora, it's only you. Only me? Who were you expecting? Don't tell me. That hat says it all. <laughs> Wearing it on Friday, are we? Yes, dear. With my mint green mohair. Mint green mohair and a flowered hat. Don't stand still. The queen might plant you. <laughs> But I don't want to be too bright, dear. Don't worry, Sissy, you'll never be that. <laughs> I wonder what colour the Queen is wearing. We don't want her clashing with me, do we? Oh, no, that would never do. I tell you what, play it safe. Wear your reversible Mac. <laughs> with this hat, dear? You are so right, Sissy. I always said you had an eye for fashion. What's wrong with your plastic pixie hood? <laughs> Covers my ears, dear. And I can't hear what people say. That's why I felt so sorry for that poor man when he was arrested in the park. I had said yes. <laughs> he told the judge you said please. Ooh. It's no good, sissy. You'll have to have a whole new outfit. But I haven't any money, Flora. Well, go to the council, apply for a grant. Will I get one, dear? Of course. Sit in the sun, get a tan, tell them you're a student, you'll get thousands. All right, Flora. Sissy, I didn't come here to talk about clothes. Why did you come, dear? To rehearse you. Oh, thank you, Flora. Thank you. I'll stand on that table, shall I? What for? Then you can bow to me very low. Sissy. Oh, Flora, just think. All those people cheering, Sissy. waving their flags at me. Sissy! <laughs> yeah. I am the queen. Well, then you should be up here, dear. We'll never get anywhere at this rate. Come along. Why should I be on the table? So that I can practice looking up. Sissy, the Queen is not a tall woman. She is regal, but petite. Ah, but she might be standing on some steps. Then she'll have to bring them with her. <laughs> There's nothing in that scout's hut but half a trestle table. Besides, she is receiving a bouquet of flowers, not paper in the ceiling. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't help me. Gladys Smallwick said so. But what am I doing if I'm not helping you? You're refusing to stand on the table. Come here. <laughs> Hang on. Yes. How's that? <sighs> Something wrong somewhere. I think the table is too high. Mm. You stand on the bed, please. Mine, not to reason why. Come here. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Better. <laughs> I could make a flying leap for the chest of drawers. I don't think the Queen would do that, dear. At last, a word of sense. Sissy, come here. Oh, I have tried to help you your way. I'm now going to help you mine. Oh, dear. Come over here, dear. Sit down. All oh, right. Please. And do you know, Sissy, I think I'm going to sit down too. Oh, dear, isn't life funny? Here am I telling you what to do when you meet the Queen. Oh, how it takes me back. Where to, dear? To my little through lounge in Chingford. <laughs> All those portrait pictures of the Queen. Oh, Mr. Petty worshipped that woman. I was going to present her with flowers once, you know, in my capacity as chairman of the bowling club. <laughs> oh, Mr. Petty was so proud. He kept telling me and telling me what to do, what to say, what to wear. Flora, just like us. That's why it <laughs> takes me back. Did you do it, dear? Do what? Present the Queen with flowers. Fate snatched that from my lips, just as it did this afternoon. What happened? What happened? Oh, Sissy, it was my last rehearsal. 
I had just handed my pretend bouquet to Mr. Petty. We were using a cauliflower, fretty in that day. And what happened, Flora? I had just started my reverential backward walk when I slipped on a piece of purple sprouting. <laughs> they were very kind to me in the hospital. They wheeled in a television set so I could watch Myrna Proudlock from the newsagents present that bouquet in my stead. Was she your best friend, dear? Not after that, she wasn't. <laughs> you must have been so disappointed. I am. I mean, I was. But I had to be brave for Mr. Petty's sake. Just as I have got to be brave on Friday for your sake. Flora? Yes? You are going to do it. Me? Oh, no, Sissy, that wouldn't be right. Why not, dear? I can't think at the moment, but it wouldn't be right. <laughs> I'm going to miss Milton. I'm going to tell no, her. I'm sissy, going to say... Sissy, dear, she would only say I influenced you. But you haven't. I'll tell her you haven't, I'll swear Oh, it. Sissy, what can I say? <laughs> Once you've made up your mind, there is nothing I can do. <laughs> As always, I am putty in your hand. Yes! <laughs> sissy! Take off that hat before you go, dear. Oh, yes, dear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Someday. <when laughs> I... What are you telling me? What are you saying to me? Flora's need is greater than mine. She told you to say that. No, she didn't. Truly, she didn't. Miss Lupin, give me one good reason why Mrs. Petty should present those flowers. She worked so hard on that tray cloth. The lazy daisies took her hours. Tray cloth? <laughs> lazy daisies? And she wrote the poem herself. Poem? Yes. What poem? Why do I feel a migraine hovering? <laughs> Tell me about this poem. It was all about the Queen, you see, Miss Milton. One minute. And she... mm. <laughs> now, that is nice of her. Who? Her Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, you mean elder daughter of Edward VIII. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite true what they say, you know, Mildred. The camera does not catch her colouring. Ah, Sissy, dear, come and sit by me. Did you have a chance to pop in and see Miss Milton? Yes, dear. Flora. Oh, thank you, Sissy. I shall never forget this. Wherever he is today, Mr. Petty is a very happy man. Just a minute. Just a cotton-picking minute. <laughs> Why is Mr. Petty so happy all of a sudden? Sissy wants me to give those flowers to the Queen, she insists. Flora. Well, I'll go to the foot of our stairs. <laughs> Flora, there's only one thing. Isn't I it? know. She won't let me borrow her long white gloves. Oh, some people are so small-minded. <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. There are other long white gloves. <laughs> ah, Miss Milton, would you like my chair? You have a toe, have you, Miss Lupin? I did try. Never mind. I'll do it with pleasure. Mrs. Petty, I have some news for you. Oh, what an exciting day I'm having. It's about tomorrow's presentation. I know. I've been asked back after. On the contrary, you won't be there before. Why not? What is this? Mrs. Petty, I have just heard about that tray cloth. Oh, she's phoned up to thank me. What's her number? I'll ring her back. <laughs> you will neither ring nor write. If this sort of thing goes on, I shall have to censor your mail. <laughs> Miss Lupin, would you care to borrow my long white gloves? Oh, 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 it's Princess Grace's silver wedding any minute. What rhymes with Kelly? <laughs> <laughs>